Are you in a situation where you're wondering what is the best flour to use for baking? Well, the first question you need to ask yourself is, what the fuck are we baking? I'm gonna go through 10 different types of flours. Is flour plural already? I don't fucking know, but I'm just gonna refer to it as flowers throughout this video because you know what I'm talking about, right? And if you keep your cute butt here to the end of the video, I've got a cheat sheet for you that you can have forever and you'll never have to ask this question again. This is not a history lesson either. I'm not gonna fucking tell you who used the flower for the first time. We're just gonna get to the point. All purpose flour or plain flour. I think I've got it here for you to see. This is a medium protein flour, which means it's usually between about eight to 11% protein. And it's perfect for a whole bunch of shit. It could be used for quick bread recipes. <laughs> that don't require a lot of gluten. And it's great for cakes, brownies, cookies, all that shit. Number two is bread flour. And I'll give you one fucking guess at what this makes. Bread. And the characteristics of bread flour are just like me. It's high in protein, got good glute development, sorry, gluten development, and it drinks water like a fucking fish. And remember, the higher the protein, the more water it absorbs. The protein percentage of bread flour is usually between about 11.5% to about 13%. It can go higher as well. And it's fucking great for making yeasted breads. Number three, cake flour. The consistency is a little bit different. They're low in protein, typically between about five to 8%, which means it does not create a dense product. The lower the protein, the lower the gluten, meaning fluffier cunts. Great for scones, biscuits, cakes, obviously. And there's starch in here, which helps retain the water and keep the cunts fluffy. Number four, self-raising flour. This is literally like all-purpose flour with a bit of salt and some raising agents in it. Usually about eight to 10% protein and can be used for any recipe that uses all-purpose flour and a raising agent, such as baking powders and baking sodas. Obviously, you wouldn't put any more baking soda and baking powder on top of this because it already has it. Number five, double O flour. Actually, a good way to find out more information about this flour is to actually just bake something Italian because what happens is an Italian ghost will come out of the wall and give you an unsolicited lesson on why this is the best flour in the world and why you should replace your sugar in your coffee with this flour. It's very finely milled. It's almost fucking powdery and it's usually between about eight to 12% protein, but I've definitely seen higher ones as well. It's great for pizza, pasta, anything Italian, and I've even used it for a bit of puff pastry. Number six, whole wheat flour. I just ran out of it, but as you can see, this is the container for it. When they're milling this flour, they're keeping all three parts of the grain, the germ, the bran, and the endosperm. And just like the other sperms in the world, it's high in protein, typically about 13 to 15%. And it's great for different types of bread. It may have a different flavor or texture if you just use it as a complete replacement to bread flour. And because it's high in protein, it absolutely soaks up the water. I find you get the best results out of the bread when you mix the whole wheat flour with the bread flour. It's very common in Mediterranean recipes. Number seven, semolina flour. This is a very versatile flour. It comes in three different types, coarse, medium, and fine. This here is a coarse one, meaning it's not fine. The cunt is grainy, it's like sand. Usually about 12 to 13% protein. This can be used in a whole bunch of shit, honestly. You could use it in pasta by mixing it with double O flour. I've seen it used in sweets, cakes, breads. You can even dust up pizza dough with it or coat your English muffins. Just so the fucker doesn't stick to the pan. I've seen it in plenty of Italian recipes and Middle Eastern recipes as well. Number eight, rye flour. In appearance, it's less saturated, kind of a dull flour. It's typically high in protein, usually above about 12%, but it doesn't out protein whole wheat flour. Rye flour is very commonly used in breads. Also very good in sourdough starters. Because of how rich it is, it helps speed up the fermentation process because of its ability to attract yeast and all that fucking scientific stuff. And barley flour. That's the only flour that I don't have in the house because I rarely use it. Like the name suggests, it comes from the barley grain. The protein percentage is usually between about eight to 9%. And anytime I've used barley grain, I've seen people use barley grain, it's for like flatbreads. I even seen it for like cookies and cakes. So any recipe that requires high gluten, I would steer the fuck away from barley. It's got a nutty flavor, like me, and at times it can be moist like you. And last but not least, gluten-free flowers. That cabinet up there is full of gluten-free flowers. I am not bringing them all out here because there's too fucking many. I can't be fucked putting them back. At this point, they're just honorable mentions. They are flowers that do not contain any gluten and they're great for celiacs and people on diets that like to tell everyone. Some examples include almond flour, white rice flour, brown rice flour, buckwheat flour, sorghum flour, arrowroot flour, oat flour, coconut flour, potato flour, and chickpea flour, or gabana bean flour, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I've got a cheat sheet for you that you can have forever. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments. It helps so other people can learn and they can see how smart you are. And they can praise you for being such a smart, intelligent cutie patootie. And if you like shit like this, don't forget to subscribe, 
like the video, send nudes, wait what? And comment so cunts can see these videos. And I can feel like I'm not wasting my time, people will get educated, we can have a little orgy, what? And we can learn together. Until next time, have a good fucking day.